Okay, guys, uh, got my youngest holding the camera. He's going to be the camera operator. Uh, what we're going to be doing is this is the installation video for the Elite Ammunition um, PS90, P90 stock restoration or restore to service kit if you've got the separating receiver and stock. Okay, so if we pan down to here, you'll see that we've got an older uh, uh, stock. Uh, this hole's already been kind of mutilated from prior uh, work on it, but this, receive, this, this stock has been pretty beat up. So the first thing we're going to do, I'll pan back up to me, buddy. All right, the first thing in the kit is going to be this little insert. Now, if you look at this insert, and I'll try to put some sides here. You see little holes in here. That's the side that goes in. If you look at the insert, it's actually designed, it's got a little uh, tapping, uh, tapping threads on here because it's designed to tap into uh, aluminum. It's actually made for aluminum. All right, we're actually going to use our uh, short uh, cap head screw to drive this in. Now, one of the things that we're going to do in preparation for this is one, we want to make sure that this is clean of all lubricants because we're going to put a little lube in there. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab alcohol. Here's a little alcohol. And blow it off. Now, one thing we are going to do, though, is we are going to put a little lubricant on the threads on this screw because we want this screw to release because we're going to use this screw to drive that insert into the stock. All right, but we don't want so much oil that it uh, contaminates the outside of the insert, but we want it to release. Now, for the insert, I recommend um, uh, after you drill the hole that you put some sort of uh, uh, adhesive in there. Now, the one that I use the most is called Loctite 380. Uh, this stuff's expensive. Most people have never heard of it. The issue with most uh, crazy glues or, or heavy-duty adhesives is they, uh, that, that angle can't be good is they don't have any shear strength all right especially on metal or certain uh, polymers the crazy glues shear off this one is very rare it's hard to get uh, i actually use these for i use this for the magazine clips on the older guns this has uh, the basically your super glue in it but it has rubber particles mixed into it so it has a much higher shear strength and much better resistance to vibration so after i drill out the hole i'm going to put a little bit of this in there before i set the insert into it okay all right so so what you're going to do is you have to supply your own uh, one and a quarter drill bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the insert next to it and just tape it off. That way you don't drill too far into the stock. But you want to make sure you drill far enough in to seat the uh, insert in all the way. Oop. And again, you want to drill on the low speed. You want to drill on the low speed because this is plastic, it is polymer, the drill bit will bite and it will dig in, so you just want to go nice and slow. And there we have it. We drilled our hole. So now, now, like I said in the original kit, it's going to come with a long Allen key. Uh, I've cut this one in half, so this way you've got an Allen key to take it apart and put it back together. But use the straight shaft here in the drill to help feed in the insert. Now, I've already put a little film of oil on the inside of the bolt here, but not on the insert. I've cleaned the insert with alcohol because I don't want anything to get in there uh, to keep this from bonding to the stock. Again, I've got my Loctite 380, which I keep in the freezer. And I'm going to just run a dab around it. Now, do you have to have an adhesive? Mate, probably not. This is a self-tapping insert that's designed for aluminum. And it has these holes in here so that the shavings go in there so it grips the metal. This is designed to grip what it gets screwed into. But just to be on the safe side, I'm putting that adhesive in there. So now what I'm going to do, again, on the slow speed, I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to slowly run it in.
It bottoms out. And now I'm going to take it out. Now, as you can see here, I had my pen I was using as a pointer. As you can see here, we now have the insert in here. I'm just going to grab a little piece of uh, paper towel and clean up the extra adhesive. Now, before you want to actually put this together legitimately and test fire it, you want to have this set for at least 24 hours. Uh, this Loctite 380 is extremely strong, but it does have a longer set time. So now that we've drilled this out, we've got it insert in here. Now we come back to this here. Now, you're wondering, why do we have to have such a large washer? Well, because of the hole here in the receiver. Now, could have I gotten a larger cap head bolt that didn't need a washer? Yes, but they don't come in the standard sizes at all, and it would be a custom bolt. This is an off-the-shelf bolt, okay? So, what we're going to do now, and this is just an example. Obviously, I don't have uh, everything here. We're just going to drop this bare receiver in and then we take our screw or the cap head and just run this in until it's snug you don't want to get it super crazy tight because you don't want to pull the threads out and it doesn't take that much force to hold it in. Also, when you're actually installing it, you want to keep an eye on your button here because the button is going to tell you sometimes there's a lot of free play in these stocks and depending on how tight you make this, the stock button can move too far back or too far forward uh, in the opening. So it'll actually be pushing against the back of the opening and we don't want that because we don't want the receiver back that far. So once you put this together, just make sure that your button goes up and down easily without any issues. And then you will have your fix.